In this video, we will discuss the difference between credit cards and debit cards, as well as scenarios in which you would want to use one or the other. For more information about credit cards, refer to our previous video on how credit cards work. The main difference between credit cards and debit cards is that credit cards use borrowed money, while debit cards use your own money. If Daryl spends $100 using a credit card, he's effectively borrowing that $100 from the bank with a promise of paying it back at the end of the month. If Daryl spends $100 on a debit card, he uses his own money from his own bank account. One benefit of using a credit card is that Daryl can wait to pay for something until later, when the credit statement is posted. Another benefit is that credit cards often have cash rewards or cash back, where you are given back a small percentage of what you spend. Perhaps the most underappreciated benefit of using a credit card is the ability to dispute payments. If you have a credit card stolen or make an accidental payment, getting your money back is much easier since it's the bank's money, not yours directly. The biggest downside of a credit card is the ability to overspend and get burdened with debt. Many people abuse credit cards and spend more money than they can pay back. Avoid this by making smart choices and paying off the balance every month. The main benefit of debit cards is that they're simpler. There's no borrowing money, paying it back, or worrying about missing a payment. You just use your own money. Another benefit is that it is harder to get into excessive debt with a debit card, since the card will just decline if you don't have enough money. The biggest downside of using a debit card is the lack of consumer protection against fraud. If you enjoyed the video and learned something, please consider liking the video and subscribing. This video is brought to you by Gateway Bank's Financial Education Initiative.